Oh my, Nick. I don't want to alarm you, my friend, but if you look at the mini-map, it would appear that we have a staggering number of squid in our waters. Oh, yeah. See, this is the thing, Isaac. I bet you, when we actually need ink sacs, they're all going to disappear. Why are there so many of them? Maybe they just love swamps, man. Maybe they're just really into swamps. I think we need to take advantage, Nick. You know, make uh, here while... Oh, there's also like a, a ton of little fish. Look at this. Like a little... Uh, a school, is it? Of, uh, yeah, school fish. I've noticed these, these fish before, and I always thought that's a bit weird. But you are right, Isaac. We need to, you know, make hay while the sun shines. Yeah. Is that the, is that the, is that, I is think, that the I think it is. Make, make hay while the sun's up. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. But you're right, because if we leave them now, we are eventually going to need ink sacks, and they're just not going to be around, right? Because, you know, that's just how the world works when, when we need squid. Oh, my goodness. And it's always squid, isn't it? It's always squid. Every single time. Are you getting this uh, blindness debuff? Yeah, and I got like a little like sound effect and it says trinket unlocked creepo. What's that yeah, about? Yeah, you've unlocked the creepo trinket. So there is a button. I forget the, the name of the button every single time, but there's a button you can press that gives you access to the trinket menu. It's R. So if you press R, <laughs> look at that. Chat's, oh, yeah. chat's on it <laughs> incredibly quickly. Uh, <laughs> in this is great. Chat. Freaking chat is what <laughs> watching the stream. So we're gonna get like whether we like it or not, Isaac. We're gonna get you know corrections and advice. But so uh, yeah, if you uh, press R, you can then click to add, and one of your your, your creeper trinket should be there. It'll tell you what it does as well. A creeper targeting you will not spawn an explosion. Oh, that's great. Oh, nice. I love that. I've got uh, I've got four trinkets that I can choose from. I have Slingshot, deal more knockback damage when hitting enemies, which is apparently common. Lucky Coin provides me with Luck 2. Ice Shards provides me with Frostwalker. I had that one before. And then Glass Shard, cobwebs can be destroyed just by walking on them, which apparently is Ooh. rare. That's interesting. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to stick with Lucky Coin for now. The Luck 2 sounds like it'd be useful. Yeah, it does, definitely. Can I just say that I love that um, those stupid Poggy emojis work in the Minecraft chat? <laughs> I love that uh, that you call them po stupid Poggy emojis. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Holy crap. If you press uh, T, Nick, and then press emote, at the, like below where it says emote to the bottom right, there's like a, an emote right at the end of your chat bar. Oh, I do see if that. If you click that, Here you've got go. like, the full suite of regular oh my emojis goodness. to pick from. This is mad. I know, right? What's this one? This one says Discord. It's awful. Oh, where, where's that? Let's have a look. It's like a, it's like a, someone drew an emoji in paint. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Discord. how do I, um, so I, I'm, cl I clicked on one. Yeah, you click on it. It uh, should appear in your, like... Oh, yeah, I and see. Just I'm on about enter. this one. Yeah. God, that's awful. <laughs> Oh, wow, see this, this is incredible. <laughs> yeah. Is that like the, the thonk emoji or something? Thonk. Yeah, there it is. Of course. Wow. Check it out. There you go. I've got a gun, Isaac. <laughs> oh, my. Nick, jeez. Oh. Be careful with that thing. Sorry. YouTube TOS is going to have us. <laughs> jeez. Oh, man. All right. So, yeah, welcome back. Welcome back to Enigmatica, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> As per usual, we've gone on a bit of a tangent at the beginning, but, you know, all, all, all is well. Yeah. We were doing astral sorcery stuff, weren't we, last we time, We were, Nick, yeah. So we were doing a lot of traveling back and forth using uh, the you know matter transmitters that we have over here. And at the very end of the last stream, Nick, we got this attunement altar right here. Oh, yeah, we did. And we need to build a really big multi-block yes. to, to get that working, right? Indeed. Yeah. So do you want to check your astral tome? Because unfortunately, my astral tome is uh, not quite up to snuff, Nick, when it comes to... Uh, Oh yeah, because research. I've been clicking the things. Okay, I'm in it. I'm re I'm reading it. Could you find the multi-block structure for the attunement altar? Okay, so I'm assuming that's in attunement. So let me scroll in. Starlight attunement. I'm assuming it's this one. Yes. So I found it, Isaac. Uh, we need a lot of... I think I can click uh, this thing, can't I? Or is it this thing? What's the thing that shows me all the different blocks I need? In the top right, there should be a thing you can hover over. Oh, it's the little star. That's the one, that's yeah. Right, so we need 225 sooty marble, Oof. Isaac. Okay. Quite a large amount, if you ask me. Um, 80 marble arch. And then, and then all the usual other crap, right? Four rune marble, 12 marble pillars, four chisel marble. 
But we need lots of sooty marble. Hold on, that Isaac. was four ruined marble. Is that correct? Mm-hmm. How many? Correct. How many marble pillars? Twelve marble pillars. Hold on, marble pillars. We need twelve of those. Twelve of those. Twelve marble pillars confirmed. God, it sounds like I'm doing a Mackie's order. <laughs> I want, uh, four, four chiseled marbles, please. Four chiseled marbles coming right up. That's right. Yeah, you want those yeah, with or without uh, ketchup? With Isaac. With ketchup. You okay, I, cool. I eat ketchup <laughs> okay, okay. with like, you know, <laughs> I eat ketchup with my milk. With your cereal, right? yep. <laughs> with my cereal. Uh, 80 marble Oh arch. my goodness. What, uh, what drink would you like with that? Um... Fanta no ice, please. Fanta no or as ice. I like to say, Ugh. Fanta no heist. Nice. <laughs> Fanta no heist. Um, I think I'm good then, man. So I've got, uh, just to read your order back to you, that's uh, 80-ish, 90 marble arch, 14 marble yeah. pillars, 4 ruined marble, 4 chiseled marble, and like 250 sooty marble. Isaac, you're giving me, you're even giving me extra sauce. Yeah, that's I'm perfect, just, you know, man. Let's, <laughs> let's get out of here. At a certain point, bro. you know, if you ask for... 300 nuggets, they're just going to throw in whatever they've got, man. Yeah, exactly. I mean, that's fair enough, man. Yeah. Maybe I'll sue for, for high <laughs> cholesterol or something. <laughs> it was that extra nugget. They're feeding me too that much. extra nugget put me over the edge. <laughs> uh, we actually have a teleporter, man, that we should use. We do have a teleporter, Isaac. Let's go through um, it. Um, well, it, uh, but, uh, are we building... Uh, do we want to build this over, over here? I guess we do, right? Yeah, I'm assuming so, right? Because we've set up shop here. Um, sure. The only problem is, is that... This thing is huge. Like, yeah. So where do you want to build it, man? So maybe should we just build it like... Oh, God. Yeah, you're right. This isn't really like it's a, a flat it's space. It's a big it? multi-block, right? I'm assuming that we... Do we have to build it here because it's near this crystal? I don't believe so, no. However, if we get some dirt, we could probably flatten this area here. Pretty quickly. Sure. Do you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, okay. Yeah. I know what you mean, Isaac. I know what you mean. I'm going to do a quick um, uh, quick slash home. Yeah. Watch I've out for the fire got, pit. I've got a diamond delabra, so I'll start getting rid of these trees. Beautiful. Yes. That would be yeah, ideal. I'll do that. I'm going to bring some uh, torches, Nick. Yes, please. That would be that would be great. Yeah, they seem very, very useful. Your pet cat is also still here, Jeez. Isaac. I mean, He's Nick, waiting for you, man. If something were to happen to the, the cat, Whilst I was not there, you know, I would, of course, be immeasurably disappointed when I returned. However, I'm sure I'd get over it, you know. Really? Well, that's oh. a, it's a good job it's still here then, Isaac. <laughs> oh, um, <laughs> it's a good job nothing happened to that cat. That lovely cat just sitting there. And I'm sure oh, nothing will. Thank goodness. <laughs> whilst you're gone, what Isaac. Have done? That, cat, that cat is being protected by me. Don't worry, I got your cat's back. Uh, okay. I'll make sure nothing happens to that <laughs> thank cat. Thank you, Nick. You're too, too kind. <laughs> you're, you're very welcome. Uh, geez. Uh, While we uh, turn this down, Nick, I want to get your opinion on something. I think please. we've talked about it before a little bit. But, you know, we've been doing this for a while, Nick. We're going to retread some ground every now and again. Um, it has to happen, You've man. heard of the Mandela effect, right? I have. The idea that uh, some events... The, the, it's kind of a... Would you call it a conspiracy theory? Would you call it a, 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 a philosophy? Like, the, the idea is that there are certain things in history that happened and people have memories of these things happening the reason it's called the mandela effect is that people think that nelson mandela uh, died in like the 1980s or whatever right uh, but really mm -hmm. he, didn't, he was he, did he died in like 2013 so yeah the uh, the mandela effect the theory i guess or part of the conspiracy theory is this idea that maybe this is like proof of alternate timelines right that right in one timeline nelson mandela did die in 1985 or whatever and then at a certain point in history, some of us have like shifted into a different parallel timeline where he didn't, right? Because people seem to have like vivid memories of seeing newspaper articles reporting on his death in the 1980s, right? That is, yes, that is true. So, I mean, it's weird. It's also like the thing that causes everyone to call, uh, you know, that, you know, that scene from Star Wars where it's like, Luke, I am your father, but that's not what he said. Yeah, it's like sure, that sure, sure, as well, yeah. isn't it? Right. And there's also people who like uh, again with Star Wars, there are people who like don't know that one of C-3PO's legs is silver. Oh yeah, well that's a bit weird. When he's yeah, like he, people think he's like fully gold, when in fact he has like one silver leg. 
right? The right, and like yeah. people are like, it's also, that's not, that's not ev- right. Everyone thinks that the Monopoly guy has a monocle yeah, or something like that, yeah, so, and he does it. Yeah, you know, what do what do you think, Nick, to the possibility that this could be parallel timelines? Parallel timelines. I mean, do you think you were potentially born in a timeline where the Monopoly man had a mustache and have since then been, through some means of a greater force, been transported? into a timeline where the Monopoly Man is moustacheless. Yeah, see, I've got an explanation to the Monopoly Man one, Isaac. <laughs> right, yeah. I, I think people... <laughs> is, uh, man, the explanation is, is that, yes, we are going through those... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we are going through it. Thanks for bringing it up. I'm so glad. No, I think people are getting that mixed up with the guy on the Pringles can. Maybe, yeah, that's entirely possible. Because I think they look the same, and I get them, like, mixed up. I think, especially with the, the Monopoly Man, the Monopoly Man in and of himself is kind of a caricature of this idealized, of like th- this idea of a person, right, who wears a top hat and has a monocle. And I think, in general, you just think of that person as having a moustache, right? They look very similar, man. They look very similar. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I, I think that that's, that's probably, like, the explainer for it. The man, the actual Mandela, Mandela effect yeah. is a bit weird. Right? It is, man. But then, like, mass hysteria is a thing. Um, like, I was reading this article uh, a couple years ago now, um, and it was about, like, how in this school somewhere in Asia, I think it was, like, all of these students just started screaming. And it just had this weird, like, spread effect where everyone just started screaming. Like, it was really weird. Was it, like, uh, exam results season? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's it the 17th of August. <laughs> All the GCC results just come out. And I was like, oh, yeah, I can relate to that. <laughs> um, oh. Yeah, it was really weird. And there was this other one. And some people who are viewing this might uh, have heard of this as well. You might have heard of this as well. But there was this one time in like the like 1500s or something like that, like a few hundred years ago, right? Where lo- everyone just started dancing. Right. Like loads of people's, people just started dancing and like they were just dying because they just couldn't stop dancing. And it was like mass hysteria, right? Like everyone just had this weird experience. It's like an urge and it was to like dance. a hive mindset. Hmm. Um, so I think that's where it comes well, from. Well, so other people kind of think take this... So, like, obviously one conspiracy theory is this idea that uh, it's kind of like alternate timelines, right? But another yeah. conspiracy theory Nick, is that it's actually proof that we live in a simulation, right? And that the simulation yeah. is just kind of... Obviously not perfect, right? Like, the, the whatever computer is running us has, like, you know, little, little errors in its coding and to where, you know, whatever... It, it, the, the 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 bit of data that was like Mandela's birthday was corrupted, so they just threw a new date in there, right? He was still alive. Yeah. Or, you know, whenever people were supposed to be acting normally, the the little bits got screwed up, and they just started screaming, right? So I mean, you know, what do you what do you think to that, maybe? Do you think that's a possible I mean, maybe, man. explanation? But I tell you what, I I I have those personally. Those little bits inside of you that make you scream. Like I literally, I had like a error you know, like runtime exception <laughs> error the other day. I woke up yesterday morning and I was such, I was feeling such a runtime exception error. <laughs> Sometimes, man, Ugh. I literally, I will just say the wrong word. Yeah. Like it will literally just come out wrong. And I'm like, yo. That's not what I was <laughs> thinking or going to say. That's like an actual brain error. Yeah. Like we, our brains are basically just like cool computers, biological computers, right? Yeah. Like we can have errors. Like, that's why we, like, you know, accidentally do things, you know? Like, you know, you know, if you do something by accident, oh, yeah. like, I don't know, maybe sell all your Bitcoin at $16. Oh, no, hold on a second. Yeah. That's, that's not like, what I meant. All, <laughs> you know, just uh, <laughs> accidentally order a, a, an extra large double pepperoni pizza at 3 a.m., you know? It's a, we all exactly, make Exactly, when you're not meant to, right? It was just <laughs> slipped. Right? You slipped into the Domino's app, you clicked order. Oh, I clicked you can't it. help yourself. <laughs> I don't know. Do you want to? Do you want to pass me the? I was going to say, how big does this I'll need start, to be? I'll start putting it down. Cheers. Yeah. What's the uh, What's um, the base size of this? Like, how big is so the square? So it's it's twenty because there's two hundred and twenty five required. Fifteen by. 15. I'm assuming the black marble bit is twenty five by twenty five. Fifteen. Right? Fifteen by fifteen is two two five. 
Oh yes, yeah. Sorry, yes, that is correct. Eight. So yeah. Uh, that. Oh no, sorry. That's that's nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, like that. So that's 15. okay. Cool. I guess is that the that's not the middle at all. Is that the middle? I guess it doesn't matter, right? We can just build until it's fifteen we'll by fifteen. Complete the yeah. We'll complete the thing. Complete the square. So that's three. Don't, four, don't give me flashbacks. Six, seven. One, two, three, yeah. four, five, <laughs> six, seven, uh, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15. Okay, we'll go that way. Okay. Yeah, this is this is okay, it. This beautiful, is right. beautiful. But uh, I don't know, man. I don't know. There's obviously, um, it's hard to prove that you don't live in a simulation. That is true, by very definition, right? Yeah. Like, I've, you know, have you ever watched Horton Hears a Who? I haven't. At least I don't recall watching it, no. Yeah, was, uh, I think I watched that because it came out when my, my little brother was like four years old or something. Right. So I went to the cinema to watch it. And ever since I watched it, it's basically so to obviously to give you a premise, it's about like this like whole like nation of creatures living on the end of this like flower. Right. And their entire world is like rocked by when they, when this flower like suddenly gets blown away or so it's something like that, right? <laughs> right okay. So it's like obviously it, it it is slightly reminiscent of the fact that um Is it Marble Arch around the edge you of know, this? Sorry. sorry. Is it Marble Arch around the edge of this? Uh it, let me let me consult the manual one second, Isaac. Uh, let me just check. Uh, yes, Beautiful. it is Marble Arch around the edges, yes. So go on, Horton, here's a who? Yeah, so, um, ever since I saw that movie, I always thought, God, like, that that's quite reminiscent of, like, a simulation. Yeah. Because this entire nation of, of people, it's all relative, right? They have no idea what's going on the outside. It's like the whole universe as we know it could be part of something much bigger. But we obviously don't, we only know what we know because of what we can see, right? And granted, we can see quite a lot. And smell and taste. And smell and taste, to be fair. I think a lot of space exploration is done via taste. By, and, smell and smell as well. Well, smell is, like, smell is oh, 90% of taste, Mars right? Mars smells awful, <laughs> stinky planet. <laughs> they always say, man, that, you know, smell is like 70% of taste, so... That's true. You know? That's true. That's why when you're ill, mm. things taste bad. Or, you can't smell. Even if you just like hold your nose, you can make things taste like less, right? Yeah. People like if they don't yeah. like the taste of something. I know as like as a kid, if uh, we were gonna like be forced to eat broccoli, you know, stinky, smelly, horrible broccoli, they we we hold on. <laughs> but, like, bro, broccoli is so unoffensive. <laughs> I've never thought broccoli is stinky I think and smelly. Like a universally kid hated vegetable, right? That's true. That's true. I mean, I'm still not a big fan, to be yeah. honest, unless it's tender stem. But then that's just me being <laughs> unless uh, it's tender you know, stem, lightly fried in some olive oil, lightly dusted, <laughs> and fried. lightly dusted with some truffles and. <laughs> 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 Come on, Nate. Yeah, you, you got it. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> mm, this truffle oil uh, is delicious. <laughs> this is um this is slightly slightly incorrect, by the way. Um, these oh. these bottom blocks oh, really? have to be I mean it's fine. These bottom blocks have to be um the 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 cool looking one. Oh not which I will clarify. Oh so it's ch it's runes, not chisel. Rune. Right. The chisel goes on top. The, is it uh, three? The, the pillar goes on top. Is it like top. this? Yeah. yeah. So yeah, that, so this is, that's correct. And then this is ruined, oh. like at the bottom. So this is Marble Arch still? Uh, so that is can be anything. Oh, it's empty. That's like a hole. Ah, yeah. so it's like this. Is it? That's is it, it. That's it. Block one, two block? Um, so it's block one, two, three block. Oh, okay. I was going to um, say, I thought it so was... So you need to extend these pillars yeah, by okay. one. Yeah, okay. I was going to say, I, th well. I thought it was three, not two, but yeah, okay. So it's like yeah. this and then, and then chiseled like this. That's it. That's perfect. Beautiful. Okay. And then also the um, outer bits here also need to be marble arch. So I'll do that. Oh. You hand me whatever yeah, marble okay. arch. Yeah, okay. I'll break this I'll, I'll do that. Sure. Here you go. That's it, yeah. Someone in the Twitch chat says, uh, okay, but truffle oil is so truffle oil is so good. Have you tried truffle oil? So um I've only ever tried it. So I've tried it a few times, but every single time I've tried it, it's been in the same thing, which is these um, like pasta dishes. chips. Oh chips, okay. Yeah, that this um chain have you ever heard of Gourmet Burger Kitchen? Um, I think so, yeah. They're like a burger chain, yeah. They're they're not huge, but they 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 are a chain. They do like these truffle oil chips um, with like cheese and stuff. And I always get those whenever I eat there. Right. And it's really nice, but I don't know specifically 
what the truffle truffle oil taste is. Do you know what I mean? I'm like, yeah. I can't tell what in this eating experience is the truffle oil. You can't, you can't like pinpoint the flavor in. Yeah. yeah sure. So I feel like I'll need to try it in something else mm. to actually get that. Um, yeah. But yeah. In a, in a but, so I have, but I couldn't give you like an act, I guess like a really kind of robust uh, review of it. Sure. I don't think I've ever tried truffle oil, man. I don't think I've ever tried truffles yeah. in general. Just like, you know, on their own. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I've ever had truffles either. They're mushrooms, aren't they? I have no idea, man. <laughs> I think truffles are like this, like quite fancy type of mushroom. Really? Because I know like the, the, it's like grated onto stuff, right? Occasionally. Yeah, so they grate it on, and I think it must be must be like saffron. It must be like quite a rare kind of plant. Yeah, let's have a look. Truffle. Um, a truffle. Yeah, give it a search. Is the fruiting body of the of a subterranean fungus? Right. Predominantly. One of the many species of genus tuba. So there you go. So yeah, I guess it's like, well, a, it's like the underground portion of some kind of mushroom. What a bizarre thing to be so expensive and to be so, you know, I don't know, culinarily revealed, uh, revered, right? Like what a it's weird, it's odd, right? Yeah. yeah, that's very bizarre. I've I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't have known what it was, but that is odd. Yeah, well, there you go, man. Is this the go. dead center here? Uh, let's have a look. It looks it. Sure. From this and the, the fact that we've got little starlight particles, like on the ground, oh, on the black. Yeah, that must mean this is correct. Do I have to bash it no, no, with I think, this I, resonating wand? Think, or is it just going to work? I think we're good. So Ooh, behind you, Isaac, let me get near oh, you. It's okay. I have, oh, yeah, you've got the the, the <laughs> diffusion. Yeah. <laughs> this has got nice and close. This is where I need my, my cat. I, just, I think you have to kill him. Oh, no, you just let him disappear. <laughs> freaking, freaking disappear. He's too scared of me, mate. You just let him evaporate. Get out of here. Wow. Okay. Um. So. We have to do a thing here. So one thing we've not done, Nick, if you open up the quest book mm -hmm. and you go to oh, sorry, the quest book, yeah, yeah. Astral mm -hmm. Sorcery, which is the third one from the bottom, if you're not already there. Um, one thing we could look at making that we've not made yet. Um, do you see the telescope quest? Um, a, I'm a, uh, yes. Okay. Yes. It says ever drifting down the stream. That's if it. If you go up to the left of that is the celestial gateway. This is, functions as like a two-way teleportation so we could look at setting one of these up to go like back and forth to where we start you know to our base right is this, is this the celestial altar one the celestial or... gateway that has to the up to the left of the telescope not to the bottom right oh right yes up to the up left i see yeah it. I, see that's... It. I always get my rights and left mixed up i need I, this is when i'm driving it's not <laughs> Um, <laughs> <laughs> was like, so it please. takes us twice as long to get home because I've gone the wrong way. like, please turn left in 100 yards. And Nick's just like driving right I'm into like traffic. Like, okay, exactly right. Satnav told me so. It's <laughs> oh, been a major man. build up on the uh, motorway today. See, that today. was a runtime error, Isaac. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> yeah, I see this. I see this. Celestial gateway. But yeah, oh, that, that, that can be used to teleport back and forth. Um, using the attunement altar. I believe what we can do is we can attune crystals to mm -hmm. a certain uh to it sounds like you're trying to sell me like a, a dead sea <laughs> musk wristband <laughs> Isaac. We can <laughs> we can attune crystals to a certain uh, a certain thing. Um if you hold on just a minute, let me go. I know that we got previously some uh oh, that's the fire. Some of those scrolls what are they called? They're called... Um, oh, Constellation, Constellation Papers. Constellation Papers. I've got one on me. Okay, cool. So I believe what we can do is in some way we can like learn these, right? If you know what I mean? Right. Um, let me go get my astral tome actually, which I'm not going to be able to do because I've got to wait four minutes to teleport home now. But uh, if I'm not mistaken, what we should be able to do is we need to get little... Guys, and it's it's hard for me to do this without being able to look at the book at all. Um, do you want mine? You I can't. My book, I can't. Isaac. Your books. It's linked to my person, right? Uh, it's not, do you want me to go get your book? No, but no, no. I've got my book down. doesn't have the information because I've not progressed. Oh, right. right. That's the problem. <laughs> oh, we need to. We need. Oh, uh, we need some astral relays, I believe. Right. Uh, because I believe what we do is we pick a constellation, right? Like I have the uh, Amara constellation right here, right? Right, and I've got the a Avitus yeah. one. Yeah. 
if you have the constellation in your hand at night, I believe little blue particles on the sooty marble here will show you where to put the astral relays. If you put the astral relays in that point, the altar will activate and then you can attune either a rock crystal or yourself to that constellation. Right. Okay. I believe God, this that is to some be... Like, uh, this is some real astrology, man. Yeah, I believe so. It's going to give me my, like, uh, my... What's the word? You know when it says, oh... Your on, horoscope? Your horoscope. Yeah, that's that's it. It's going to give me my horoscope. <laughs> it's going to say, oh, what up, your Taurus? Um, in that case, Nick, and if you right click on the, like, if I right click on Amara, I can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven stars. Right. And I've got the same amount. Yeah. Seven. So if you could head home, Nick, and get the mm -hmm. resources we need to make seven astral relays. Sure. Astral relays. So that was in this quest thing wasn't it uh oh no it isn't so astral relay astral oh i see it hello right we need some glass lens load of words oh this is oh, this is easy so if you hold nick your constellation paper in your shield slot yes i'll do that do you see uh blue sparkles on the ground here i don't unfortunately is that because it it is either it's either not night enough yeah, or there's torches. It might, not be, Maybe they it might not be night enough yet. Let's give it a I see. Let's give it a minute. We'll give it a minute. Yeah. Because I think we should I don't know if we have to learn these constellations. We might actually ah, now that I think about it, we might have to actually get the telescope and look for the constellations before we can use them. Did we make the telescope? We did. Okay. Give, well, hold up. We did, we yeah, did. I'm gonna come back to you here. Okay, cool. So I think, yeah, what we might have to do because we might have to get the uh the old telescopy down here look at can this I put it oh look at that do you want to take a take can a I, look can i right click on this oh my goodness i'm looking at some flickering stars okay if you were uh, so i don't know how i don't know how you actually use this no it looks a bit weird doesn't it yeah let me have a look at the the quest here what does the quest say the quest says uh the telescope greatly simplifies the task of searching for constellations they may still be drawn in. Uh, they may still be drawn in to learn them, but the improved optics grant a clearer image of the sky. Do we have to like? Oh, you have to. Okay, so when you get in here, right click. You can like draw. Oh. Oh yeah, you can. So I think we have to draw. Like if you have to back out, look at your constellation by right clicking, oh, and then we have to like draw that constellation in the sky. <laughs> oh crap! Oh no. Okay. Uh, okay. Right. I believe in you. Here's what we're gonna do. All right. Okay. You're gonna get your constellation up on the on 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 the stream. Okay. And I'll follow it. Okay. I, okay. I don't know if it works for you if you don't have the constellation on you, but you can try. Okay. I'll give it a go. So that is. And do I have to put it in the exact place? I don't think so. Okay. That's fine then. So I'll do. I hope this doesn't have to be that accurate, right? I think so long as you, you've got the... They should just be... you just connected to the pre-existing stars, right? Yeah, so that's like that. And then like that. And then like that. But then also like that. Oh, no. Well, it's this is a roughly right. <laughs> it's a bit... It's a bit wrong. But it's the same shape. Oh! <laughs> Oh, did it say something in the chat? People, people no, are just getting, that's nothing to that's, do with yeah, me. Yeah, that's other people getting their stuff. No, okay. Oh, so I, I, see, uh, I see your attempt there, okay. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> Keyword attempt. Oh, okay. So look at this. I'm rotating the the telescope. So if you right-click if you right -click in again, there's very yeah. faint arrows on the left and right. Uh, oh, there are, there are. Yeah, okay. so like one of these, you have to find the one. The one, the one that, that has matches. your yeah yeah oh okay goodness and you're looking for the bigger oh. stars right I think maybe it's the flashing stars yeah I'd assume so like the the right bright glittering glittery ones yeah and again there's oh there are some re oh I know what you mean by the flashing ones there are some really big flashy ones aren't there okay is this is this it just says the like brightest mine? stars is what the Twitch chat says but there seems to be a lot of bright. <laughs> Right stars. Yeah. Oh god. 
Okay. Right. Let's... Um... Oh, hold up. Oh, do you reckon you found one? No. Um, <laughs> that that kind of looks like my constellation, right, chat? Up. One, two, three, four, five. It's like a pentagon of sorts. So, like... Oh, no. There's, like, this triangle here. And then it's, like, uh, oh, two, three, four, five. This, I don't know what, there's no star over here for me. That's definitely not right. What does yours look like? Um, so let me show you mine. Because this one is a bit easier, I think. Whoa, it's shiny. Yeah, look at this. You can, like, drop them both. And they, like, shine together. Yeah, look at okay. that. It's like a disco. Man. So yours mine is... Mine is like... Yeah. Okay. All right, so now I can see mine on your screen. So that's a little bit like... Oh, sorry. Yeah, I'll open it up again. Uh, here you go. A bit like... like um, <laughs> just wait for me to catch up. So like... Oh, Christ. Okay, so this connects to this, connects to like that, connects to like that and then oh but it's oh but it's just a bit <laughs> just I've, a bit I've definitely off. done this wrong right yeah okay let me let me take a look in here nick let's uh let me have a, have a gander take a take a gander man okay Use the moons at the bottom to tell when the constellations will appear. I think oh, it right. seems like so, uh, uh, it looks like I'll give you both of these, but it looks like both of our constellations have moons, have like all of the moons. Right. So they will appear at like all the they'll appear all the time, essentially, is what that means. I, I think so, man. Yeah. Oh, hold on. Like if you get don't give me these, Nick. <laughs> Cause I What you Oh. Oh, I've done it! I discovered Almara. Oh. Okay. Oh, nice. I've done it. <laughs> oh, yeah, look at that. <laughs> oh, all right. I found it. Um, does, so I, I wonder, can you find that same one? So is that in this exact position as yeah, it is now? Yeah, if you open this up. Can we, we, we can't oh, both right, open it. Basically, can, we copy, can we open it at the same time? I think I'm in all it. All right, then, see if you can draw this constellation it. that I've found. Right, let me just copy you. Right, so I'm just checking... Don't make it too obvious, right, though. So we don't like want the teacher that, knowing. And then that one, and then that one. Oh, and it's kind of like snapping. So I think it's working. And then that connects to. Like I said, there the, are the big stars. If it's gonna. Yeah, yeah. I think I think I see this. Yeah, you got it. You got it. I'm looking at your stream here. And then there's like a little that... triangle at the bottom. And then that just connects back up there, doesn't it? Hey! hey! Okay, let's go. So There we go. How does this work then, chat? Because I lost the paper when I did that. If you... Um, do you have your astral... Oh, I've, I've oh, got that's why we. Oh, okay, okay. So now, Nick, over it, yeah. here, do you see blue particles? Oh, I see okay, them. Okay, please I see put them. your relays put these down, boys down where the particles oh, are. Oh, hold on, Isaac. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yep, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like I'm like your human shield. <laughs> I need to get more torches down up here. Okay, if you I'll put these torches down whilst you uh drop down perfect. those relays. Right, so let me put this constellation paper in my perfect okay, so now I can see where to put these. So one goes here, one goes here, one goes there, 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 oh, there, there, and finally that whoa yeah nick it's doing the thing nick, go stand on that altar man hello i am a taurus it. tell me my horoscope i am in a cut scene yeah. Isaac. i've never i've not experienced this right this is insane <laughs> it's madness who's gonna protect you from creepers now <laughs> Isaac? what well, i've got <laughs> Bye. this looks great it's it's a really cool mod the camera effect is good as well because it's like it is trying to make sure like the camera is clearly like an entity moving around it's like clipping through trees and stuff <laughs> but it's doing quite a good job of like bypassing them this is mad i mean you got a thumbnail here isaac i tell you I that hope so, man. holy holy crap 
Isaac, apparently I can see the lights. Yeah. Okay, so now oh if you open goodness. up your uh, book, can I do this? Mm -hmm. Oh, there's like a little bar on the left. Yeah. So th that I've not seen before. If you open up your book, on the right, there should be three tabs. There's like research, uh, constellations and perks. Now perks is a new one. If you click perks, you'll see this mm -hmm. massive skill tree. Yeah, this is this is I huge, know, right? Oh my god! Now we've we've picked a constellation here. Just we picked a one at random. Um, different right. constellations will start you out, I think, with different perks. I'm not quite sure what perk the Almara constellation gives you, but uh, what what do we have access to? You know? Um, sorry, Isaac, I can't get over the fact that this sounds like the PS2 menu <laughs> 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 when you don't have a disc in. <laughs> I am. Um, there we go. Beautiful. Could I? Uh, so. Actually, I'm going to do a slash home to grab my book. Sure. So it says like root, root armara, 20% more armor, gain experience by taking damage, active root perk. Yeah. Okay. And then you so can that's, like... Yeah. So that's the current perk that we have. The current right. perk is that we have 20% more armor. Right. So if you look, I assume that's the orange armor that we have now. Uh, Above our hearts. Oh, yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I see that. So yeah, you'll see we have sure. available points one and you can either choose... Increased uh, elemental resistance, which is 5% increased elemental resistance, or you can pick plus one armor. So I'll pick plus one armor here. I see here, that. And now we should have extra <laughs> extra armor. Yeah, I, I'll go I'll go with the same, actually. Yeah. I think that's so in terms, quite a good one to go with. So while you're holding active. your book, you should see a bar in the top left. Uh, like, leave the book, but be holding it. Yes. Um, oh, it says yes. one at the bottom. So if I hit that's you, it. does that bar go up? It did fill, yes, filling up. Yeah, so you, you take hit damage, you gain, and as soon as that hits level two, you should gain a poke point. Ah! Oh. Yeah, let me know when it hits level two. You need to keep, so if you, if you really hurt me, will that make it go up more? I'll try. Did that help? I think so, yeah, that's much better. Yeah, keep going. Hurt me. There we go. It's level two Beautiful. now. Beautiful. Okay. Oh, yes. <laughs> this is don't your, worry, don't this worry. is your ploy of getting rid of the cat. <laughs> But yeah, so now if you go back, you should be able to uh, go back to perks, and then now you can pick and another armor. I can add another armor, yeah. or I can go down the elemental. Yeah, one. yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me do the, another armor. This is cool. I know. If you zoom this out, is great. you'll see that there's just a staggering number of perks. There is a lot, isn't there? Yeah. So I'm assuming if we want to start somewhere else, we have to make a different constellation. That's like, that's how it works. Yeah, you zoom out, you see the circles. Those are the places you can start mm -hmm. it. Um, if you look at those, you know, uh, if you find those constellations, you can start elsewhere. Like, I know the last time I did this, um, I found one that gave me speed. So it gave me a speed boost. Oh, nice. And then as I'm, like, moved through the world, it would increase my speed boost. Do you want to hit me a bit, Nick, with your uh, sword to give me a I perk? I will hit you. Here you go. Oh, yeah, look at that. Yeah, it goes up quite a bit, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. Okay, that's level two. There you level go. Perks. Add yourself uh, add yourself a perk. Yeah, I got myself an extra shield slot, man. Nice. Oh, Beautiful. two shield slots. I know, right? Um, I mean, That's do cool. we want to look for... Actually, you know what? Let me go google.com and find out what... Uh, <laughs> before we put the time into looking at um, Avitas. Oh, yeah. Should we see what it... Yeah. What it has. Do you have Avitas on you? I do, yeah. Okay, cool. Let's have a look. Perk. Luckily, that one looks a little bit easier to draw, but then that just may be the way it looks. Um... Astral Sorcery, Constellation, Perks. Let's have a look. See if I can find this information here. Spoilers. I want the spoilers. Give them to me. Okay. So, Armora, uh, yeah, Tough Skin is apparently what that is. So, uh, reduces damage, elemental damage. So, Avitas, Creation Perks, Green Thumb, plants around you grow faster, uh... Animals around you feel the need for replication. <laughs> <laughs> your reach increases a bit. Um, occasionally, your armor repairs itself. Stone near you might turn into more valuable stone. Occasionally, spawns flares. Okay, so it looks like maybe it's not worth it. <laughs> yeah, it, sounds, it all sounds a bit kind of uh, like nice to have, but not really that great, yeah, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know. Um, I don't know where we find more constellation papers, honestly. Where, where are we getting these ones so far from? Have they been I rewards? think we found them. Mm, I don't think so. I think we found these just like in uh, these like chests. Oh, right. Okay. Although it does look like you can craft constellation papers. Different constellation papers. 
Like if you just mm. type in, if you just Google, uh, Google, if you just search in JEI, there is a recipe for the constellation paper. It does require a higher tier altar, but I wonder if you can just craft that and then just get like a random, a random one maybe. Oh yeah, okay. So you need all this, all these like saplings and stardust and stuff. Well, let's let me. I've got quite. I don't know about you, but I've got loads of these astral sorcery quests to get rewards from. Oh sure. So I will. I might just go home, dump my inventory, and get and get some rewards, and just see. If constellation paper yeah. ends up being any of them, go for let it. me try it. I'll do that. Here we go. Right, let me go. To, let me dump all this. I've got so much garbage. It's awful. Um. Okay. I don't know what's happened. It's like it's night, but there's no stars. I saw that too. Uh, in the telescope. Yeah. Is it? Like if you look, yeah. if you just look up, there are no stars. It's black. Oh. It's like black as oh night. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> I think we've sucked all the star power out of the galaxy, man. Oh, Christ. <laughs> the stars are on a cool down. Yeah. Bloody hell. I don't know what that's about. But no, right, it's just here we go. I'm just uh, a staggering number of perks. these rewards. Here we go. Yeah, there are, aren't there? So, I mean, did you did so, did you or someone mention that Creative Flight is one of them? Um, I don't recall Creative Flight being one of these, but it might be. Right. That's fair. I didn't get any more uh any more uh constellation papers from those rewards right i got 16 raw cod or some <laughs> right, other crap I basically i did get some aquamarine to be fair actually yo i mean like so, how, how hard is it for oh yeah i got this earlier how uh how far were you off a new off a level three do you know let me have a look uh keep going yeah yeah almost almost there i'm at level three beautiful because now you can get the next one on that line is uh five percent increased maximum life plus one added armor. Uh oh yeah, resilience. Yeah. Yes, please. Don't mind if I do. And then like down, down to the right of that, there's like more maximum life you can get. Oh, that that, that oh, is. Oh, and if you I go mean, left, obviously there's that that ends up going quite a bit, doesn't if it? If you go the other way though, you get increased movement speed. Two percent, two percent, two percent. So I mean, Nick, if you want to eat some sushi or something, I can give you a, I can keep wanking you, man. And we can uh we can increase we can your, get me get me like you know turn you into a super oh, yeah, soldier, you sorted know? all right i've eaten wait let me let me regen some health <laughs> yeah. i've eaten this is this is how deadpool became deadpool <laughs> isaac it's <laughs> is basically the same thing oh yeah okay. I see you up there. okay i'm ready to be hit yeah, you can tell the the rate of uh, rate of growth is a bit. Yeah, the, uh, the ROI not quite uh, is not quite as much as it. Oh, careful! You you might get attacked by a slime behind you in a oh, sec. Okay. Oh. Take care of that guy. Yeah, nice. All right, I'm at four. Nice. So let me eat some cotton chips. What are you gonna go for, Nick? Are you gonna go for uh, even more regeneration? Or are you gonna start going for speed? I'm going to. Hmm. Or even plus one percent dodge chance. For... That's also an option even... for you. <laughs> Yo, yeah, that's true. Forget that crap. Um, they always say, Isaac, go go hard or go home. So I'm gonna keep going with life. Mm. Or the uh... And then I'm gonna after that, I'll go with um like uh with speed. And actually, down this maximum life tree, in two points time, I can get a two percent increased effectiveness of perks. Yo So the perks become perkier. I do see Isaac. That. And then even more armor toppers. And then right at the end, there's diamond skin. I don't know if you see that little hook. It's like a little hook of achievements or perks. Uh, take 30% less damage when wearing less than two pieces of armor. What a bizarre <laughs> little perk there. You see that? Oh, yeah, I see that hook. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's like other like big main points that give you like big boosts. Yeah. So these, there's these like these, these end points, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. What we got here? Yeah, look. 10% increased life recovery. I'm not, I don't, what does that even mean? I don't know what mean? elemental resistance is supposed to give you. Like, I don't know what that's supposed to be. Yeah. 20% increased maximum starlight charge. Oh, I wonder if that works with the altar. Either way, I think we made some good progress today, man. You know, we've, we've we imbued really ourselves. Have, like, this has been really cool. Yeah. As well. it's, it's a really nifty mod. You know, it's got some really cool, like, um, art in it, you know, and sound effects and stuff. Like I see, you got that little, uh, little cutscene there where you're being imbued with, with starlight power and whatnot. Yeah. Uh, and there is still, yeah, that more. was cool. That we can do with uh with astral sorcery one of the next things that we actually uh, in the quest book here is the ritual pedestal and the ritual anchor and there's some pretty nifty rituals we can get into um, from nice. astral sorcery so we'll, we'll see if i'm maybe getting into those uh, in the next one for now though Nick, i think this is the perfect place for us to wrap up the enigmatica 2 portion uh, or enigmatica 6 portion of today's stream